Hey guys, welcome back to the financial experiment. Today we're talking about NLA. So I had to make a video about NLA because I recently increased the amount of shares that I have in it because I am getting a dividend payout and they did slash their dividends a little bit. They used to pay 25 cents per share and now they're paying 22 cents per share. But the amazing thing is that they are still paying dividends. And in fact, when you look at it, going from 25 cents per share to 22 cents per share, that's only three cents less per share, which compared to other REITs out there who have completely cut their shares, it doesn't seem that big of a deal. If we look at, for example, MFN and MITT, which are two of my other favorite REITs, they haven't paid anything in a while, you know? And not only that, year over year, MFA is down 66% and MITT, I believe it's down almost 80% year over year. Yes, down 79%. And we, we come take a look at NLA over the year, it's only down 29%, which is still a lot. Don't get me wrong. You know, <laughs> if you're down 30%, that's no small loss. However, we're comparing apples to apples, REITs to REITs. So because NLA is down so much less than other REITs out there, and I know there's other REITs out there that are down less than 29%, I believe. Uh, realty income, where are you at? Yeah, realty income is only down 15%, and STAG, I believe, is also down very little. Yeah, down only 5.42%. But their dividend payouts are far less than what we see in NLA. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is I, I have increased my position. I bought a couple more shares just recently. Yeah, I bought about $300 more of uh, NLA. So why did I buy more NLA when the stock market keeps going up? Well, first off, it is down a little bit from its recovery. It's still down about 30%. Second, they do have a dividend yield of 15% that they are paying. That's insane. Do you have any idea? How many stocks out there are paying a dividend yield of 15% but actually paying it? Not that many. And if you were to reinvest that 15%, over the next five years, you would double your money. If you have a $1,000 investment plus 15% five times, one, two, three, four, five years, you'd have $2,000. For a REIT, that's amazing. So to me, if the stock continues to go sideways or if it goes down a little bit, I might consider buying even more just because of that crazy dividend yield that they're paying. Uh, I will say, man, I, I love getting dividends and I love seeing them get reinvested. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Well, that pretty much wraps up my quick thoughts on NLA. If you liked the video or got any useful information from it, please give it a thumbs up. And for more on personal finance and investing, make sure you come back to this channel or consider subscribing to stay up to date. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.